Hi there, everyone. Welcome to the screencast. Uh, for this screencast, I would like to just run through the mechanics of the assignments we have for the week, uh, building up to our final project. All of our smaller type assignments are behind us, and we really just have one thing left to do. Uh, so let me go ahead and I'll read through this um, assignment here, and then we'll take a look at some of the documents and links that I have included. Dear Filmies, this is it. We have three weeks left. No more slideshows, blogs, summaries. All that's left is to choose an auteur director and develop your final digital project, which will be due on Wednesday, December 12th. That is our final due date. So that'll be the last date that any work will be done, due. So we'll be spending the rest of the semester getting comfortable with the concept of the auteur. Notice the Rihanna side eye there. Um, I'm assuming that not all of you are familiar with auteur theory and I didn't want to kind of throw you in the deep end here. So we're going to spend a few weeks building up, getting to know what that um, concept is all about before you choose your, um, as you're choosing your director. Okay, uh, so let's take a look then at what is due this week. Yeah, here we go. A lot of stuff to look at. So do this week. Number one, watch this slideshow. So you're just going to click here and watch a slideshow. There are some vi uh, short videos embedded there. So please take a moment and watch those. Uh, that's going to get you to the point where, where you, you're going to be ready to choose your director. Um, next, you're going to watch this video. Now, keep in mind, obviously, this is a very small thumbnail here, but you can always click the YouTube um, uh, text here, and that's going to open it out into a new tab so you can see it full size. All right. Step one, watch a slideshow, watch a video. Step two, you're going to, after watching that stuff, you're going to email me the name of director uh, that you'd like to explore for the project. And so all you're going to do is say, I would like to focus on blank. And so, um, you know, the, the short and long of it is that an auteur is a director who has a recognizable style. Auteur theory proposes that it's the director who's the artistic vision behind any movie. A long time ago, it used to be the studio made a picture or the, the main star made the picture. But today it's thought that the, um, it's the director who's sort of the, the vision. And so you can choose nearly any director and your job will be to, t to show your reader what that director's vision is. Why is every Spielberg movie um, identifiable as a Spielberg movie? Why, how are the Coen brother movies identifiable? Okay, so that is so that is step two. You're just going to email me. Before you get started on this project, I need you to, to kind of clear that director's name with me. And there's, the, there's that resource, of course, for IMDb. Any of those directors would be great. Uh, number three is this is our chance to get comfortable with MLA format. So let me click on this, and we'll go through it. Okay, so here's what we're going to be doing. Um, this is the one one of the documents you'll have to submit to me this week, and it is called an annotated bibliography. Annotated bibliography is a list of citations for books, articles, videos, followed by a brief evaluation. So as I say here, after I give you the green light on your chosen director and I say that sounds good, then you um, are going to get started on this bibliography, which is you're going to choose three sources that you're considering for your project. Keep in mind, we're at the beginning of the research, so you might throw one aside or you might add one. Um, that's fine, but I just want you to get started. Two of your sources should be text-based and one is a video, okay? Canopy is one way to go um, or just a YouTube um, source on, on your director. Maybe it's an interview, maybe, um, uh, something like that. Interviews are good because you get the, the director's own words. All right, then you're going to compose three bibliography entries like in the sample below. Okay, so in other words, you're going to give me three of these. Okay, you're going to give me the work cited and then this um, what's called the annotation. What is the annotation? It is summarizing, assessing, and reflecting on your source. 
summary. What is your source about? Assess um, what um, do you feel like this is a valuable source? Is the information reliable? Is it somehow biased? Is it written by like a, um, an Uber fan or is it written by someone who's critical of your director? Um, that's the assess piece and the reflect part is did this redirect the way you thought about the um, your, your uh, director or is it something that you kind of backs up your preconceived notion? So in other words, six to eight sentences each, not a big deal. So you're going to have three for this part of your assignment this week, the annotated bibliography. You're going to have three um, annotated bibliographies. One, two, three that look just like this. Okay. And let's come back here. And the last thing you're going to need to do is just watch these three, nothing to do with it. But um, if you can just... Um, if you can just watch these, this is going to give you a, um, a better idea of how to compose those in-text and end-of-text citations that we'll be using once we really get started on this project. And so, um, so again, watch the slideshow, watch the video, email me the name of the director you'd like to work on, um, compose and share the annotated bibliography with three bibliography entries that look just like that sample with a work cited and then the, um, the annotation and finally watch these videos okay um let's see another place you can go right here i have this list of directors um here that you're um you know welcome to choose from and so that's one other place you might get some ideas the last thing i want to look at here is the actual um, project and I used to do this as a research paper, uh, but it started to make a lot more sense as it's more of a, a it's going to be basically a Google Doc um, with, with images and video inside of it. All right, so let's start out with the quote that I put up here. I am a type director. If I made Cinderella, the audience would immediately be looking for a body in the coach. And that's an Alfred Hitchcock quote. Again, the reason I included that is because when you go into an Alfred Hitchcock movie, you know what to expect. He, he's created this, um, this style um, that, that is recognizable. And that's all I'm asking you to do. Choose a director with a recognizable style. I've had people do, students do any number of directors uh, from John Hughes to um, John Ford. I've had just, you know, it doesn't have to be um, um, anything. It could just be whatever you want. So let's go through the steps here. Choose your director, check. Um, so ultimately what you're doing is you're submitting a digital format research paper through Google Docs. I'll be taking a rough draft next week and then the week after that, the, the final will be due. Uh, you'll need five images, one video. You're welcome to include anything else that you think heightens the enjoyment and persuasiveness of your paper. Um, once you choose your director, you're going to need to watch as many movies by that director as you can and kind of slim it down. I would say, you know, you might look at five or six of their movies, but at least three. Okay. You're going to be looking just like our response papers. How does this director handle character? How does this director handle um, shots, angles, mise-en-scene, editing, etc.? Okay. Remember to use italics for movie titles like this. Uh, please try to incorporate textbook, any handouts, articles, slideshows that we've um, that we've gone over this semester. Put it all together here and show me that you can you really um, you really are taking something away from this course. And all submitted work must be your own. I'm looking for six to eight pages. Um, starting out with a brief overview of the director. Some people might organize your paper by film. Some might organize it by, um, by technique. Okay. And so best of luck. I look forward to your work and have a great day.